Thanks for tuning in to your day off podcast, hosted by your boys, Corey and Tony. I think by the end of today, I might have another best friend. They're committed to making you fall in love with the hair industry, one podcast at a time. Uh, you're going to grab a lot of information. Yeah, you're going to learn a lot. Presented by Hair Industry. Ladies and gentlemen, this is it. Your day off podcast will begin after a word from our sponsors. Sitting with my best friend Tony. What's up, buddy? Oh, I'm surprised you didn't say Katie. All right, cool. Thanks, man. <laughs> best friend of the day. Today, for a little bit at least. Hey, so um, so we uh a little, little bit uh we're gonna have a little bit of a round table today where um you know we 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 talk about this a lot and just the friendships that we've developed over um at Hair Love Retreat and the um, friendships that we've developed over the last couple of years um um with a with uh, with one of our guests today is a, is pretty awesome. Yeah, anytime, and we say this all the time. So when you listen to the podcast and you and you hear us say, you know, we like to bring like-minded people on or people that you know, if if they can elevate the industry, they have a a place on our podcast. It, you know, today's guests, they're that way. You know what I mean? They're trying to elevate the industry and they're doing it in a very positive way. And uh, so guess what? They yep. got they got time on our podcast they, because yeah. they're they're there to to lift up this community. Absolutely. So, um, so real quick, uh, Lindsay Smith and Kelly, is it Kahan Kelly? Kane. Kane. So Kelly Kane and Lindsay Smith are on the podcast. Lindsay, um, uh, she, uh, she did the, um, she did our keynote at, uh, at Presley Poe and Friends. Um, again, to me, it's just, it's so cool to me that, that, that we literally met on a mountain and like, now we're like, we're embedded together. And then we're actually, they invited us to be a part of their, um, their, um, event that's happening here uh, real soon, the beginning of June. Um, so anyway, it's just so cool to me, like how all these relationships network and how all these relationships um, get together. So it's very, very, very cool. A hundred percent. And and we have Katie here and she's going to, uh, you know, she, she is the neck that moves the head and she is the, in control behind the scenes. And so, you know, you hear us talk about Katie all the time on the podcast, but she is literally uh, kind of what she's the grease that makes the, the wheel. Dude, she's everything. Man. We're just the faces of this thing, man. Katie, welcome, dude. Welcome. It's welcome to your day off. Although you've been on a couple of times. Yeah, thanks. Um, it's been a time or two. It's been a while, though. I think the last time I was on was when we were talking about Presley Poe. So. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. That's yeah. right. So, you know, Lindsay and, and, and they're heartfelt and, and you know, you're the ones that really kind of like glues the, the Presley Poe and Friends uh, day uh, to make it a success. You know, you, you help the timelines. You, I mean, you're it. And uh, and so you had a special relationship with Lindsay trying to kind of organize and, and put it all together. And uh, so what is your thoughts? Well, first, I'll just say she gets it because <laughs> so much goes into these things. And I know you guys know, but um, yeah, like sometimes tackling events as cool as what the ideas are. I mean, there's just so much that you have to make sure you're doing and that we're servicing, you know, the industry appropriately. And I, after meeting Lindsay, we like, I only got to uh, FaceTime or, you know, meet before the show, like once or twice. And then meeting her at the show was like instant hugs. Like, you know, it just was an instant connection. I, I really, um, I just like, she, you know, she talks a lot about breath work and things like that. And I feel like you get that energy from her when you're like in her presence, you just feel it. And she's so excited all the time and so happy. And I love that, that I feed on that kind of energy for sure. So I, yeah, it was like instant connection when I met her. That's awesome. So, uh, so Lindsay and Kelly, they're doing the CEO invitational leadership summit or, you know, kills, I guess for short or whatever. Um, so I, I I, I'm just, I'm, ex I'm excited. I'm so excited to be a part of it. You know, it's like, it's so weird. Like when you start these podcasts or when you, when we start whatever, and like when you get invited to do cool stuff is pretty doggone cool. Let's go ahead and bring Lindsay and Kelly and Lindsay, Kel, welcome to your day off. Hi friends. 
Hi, we're so excited to be here today. Elliot Presley Poe, it's great to meet you for the first time. Yes, same. I was really excited to meet you all. It, it was very, it's very cool. Like it, it's so, the social media world is so weird because you meet people or you see people online and then when you actually meet them face to face, and it's like this weird like thing because like it's almost like you know them, but you don't really know them. You know? It's so true. I remember walking up to you and I'm like, hi, I'm Kelly. And then I'm like, scissors make sense. <laughs> <laughs> like, and then I go, that makes sense, which is, yeah, which is crazy because usually you know them by their hand, right? It's yeah. like, like, Kelly, Kelly says, yeah, yeah that makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> Such a weird one. And also, you know what else is weird is like, traditionally, like if you meet someone at a business or an event or something, it's done with a handshake. Well, now it's all done with hugs. Like, mm -hmm. oh, I kind of know you. So, you know, bring it right. in now, bring it in. It's so crazy. <laughs> Hey, Lindsay, I want to um, just take a moment, just thank you for doing the keynote at, at Presley Poe and Friends. I just really yeah. appreciate that you are a part of that. And, you know, it's like a two headed sword. Like we're so we're so grateful that we have a space that we can elevate our friends. And it's so and it's so very, very cool that our friends, you know, want to work with us as well. See, I'm just going to I receive that. Thank you. But I'm going to flip it right back at all three of you, because I am so grateful for the opportunity to be able to share my message. I, I, I just am so, so incredibly grateful. And I think all three of you, you know, we've kind of had separate conversations about this, but to be able to be in the room with Presley, with Sam, just being even in the caliber of consideration was honor enough. But for you three to choose me and my message around relationship building, it just meant so much to me. So thank you. You are so very welcome. All right, ladies, it's on you. What in the world of the CEO Invitational Leadership Summit? That's a mouthful too. <laughs> it's a mouthful. So I'm gonna actually throw it back because the, the kind of full circle moment around this event is that Kelly and I started this brainstorm at brunch post Presley Poe and Friends. So when I was honored with this opportunity to come and speak, I had reached out to Kelly and said, I'm so excited about this event. Oh my gosh. And it's not too far for, from her. And so she was like, I'm getting my ticket right now. I cannot wait to support you and be there with you. And so she, you know, she kind of jumped into that support role, which was, just meant the world to me as a friend. We had went out to Tulum last year together. We were in Utah together. We had built our relationship mostly virtual, but for her to kind of take that initiative and come and cheer me on and such a big moment for me was just, it really meant a lot. And so we had went out to brunch the following morning, just casual friends, you know, just talking and, and connecting. And as we kind of started to talk, you know, it's inevitable as entrepreneurs, the conversation always starts to go towards business. <laughs> so as we were talking, um, some of our brainstorms really were just so similar around just ways that we want to elevate the industry, ways that we want to support our communities. And so this event was was truly born at Presley Poe and Friends. That's so cool. That that you know you have no idea, yeah, that how much that means to us. You know, we uh, Elizabeth Fay often talks about the ripples, you know, and like and like this is this is one of her as far as I'm concerned, this is one of her ripples that have just gotten a little bigger, you know, from bringing you in was a ripple from you and Kelly kind of creating this space for more people as a ripple and then from people that go to your event and that ripple just grows bigger and bigger and bigger and it's not for anyone, it's for everyone. It's yes. Yeah, Kelly and I met through Elizabeth. That was how we were both part of her coaching container two years ago. And so that was how our re relationship initially started. So absolutely, that ripple just continues to kind of expand. And even when, when Katie May mentioned my love for breathwork, I mean, that is through Elizabeth's facilitation. So everything about that ripple is so top of mind for Kelly and I as we structure this event. This has all been based off of our relationships, our connections together. And so our lineup, including you three, has been kind of built around this, this same mentality around inclusivity and like everyone, you can sit with us. Everyone can be a part of this and we want everyone to be a part of it. So let's talk about, let's talk about the event a little bit. When, what, where, what, all that stuff. When is it? I'm going to throw it to you, Kelly. Yep. Yeah. So the event is happening virtually on June 11th and 12th. We plan the 11th to be during the day, but then we also plan the 12th to be kind of an evening, happy hour party. We know that some stylists are now working Mondays and we wanted to make it as accessible as possible. 
Um, so the event will happen in the comfort of your own space. However, Lindsay and I really wanted to elevate the virtual experience and not just have two girls at home on Zoom. So we have rented out a beautiful webinar studio with lots of different set spaces. Um, it is in Fort Worth, Texas. So she and I will be flying out there with our MC um, to present this and really elevate that experience for business owners who are looking to um, you know, elevate their business goals. I, and it is no joke. That event space is probably the coolest <laughs> thing in the world. It, for and sure. it was hard to find. Let me just tell you, Kelly and I knew that one of us would have to travel if we wanted to kind of have this um, like more in-depth space. Either I'd be traveling to her, she'd be traveling to me. However, even within our areas, we could not find a studio space. So then we were like, okay, we're, we're going to have to look at traveling, both of us. And we found this space in Fort Worth that was just, it hits the nail on the head. Every single space is so perfect for Kelly and I's brands, for our vision, for that kind of, we wanted like the intimacy of an in-person event where you can really have those face-to-face -face conversations. And so there's spaces for us to have kind of couch and living room set up conversations. There's space for us to have conference table, boardroom style conversations. There's a podcast studio space. I mean, it's just absolutely perfect for what we envisioned. So do you guys, do you guys uh, a little inside baseball, do you guys plan on changing sets? Yeah, absolutely. We're going to take full advantage of this space. That is so <laughs> Cool, you know, and, and I'll tell you, Lindsay, if we weren't already booked up on that Monday, we would have formed that Monday. We would have been in, in the studio space for you. But unfortunately, we uh, we, we had a bunch of podcasts on the, the on the book that I wouldn't dare move. Um, yeah. But like, uh, dude, I was I'm a little envious. I got to be honest. I'm a little envious that uh, when we're when we're live, we're going to be here uh, and you guys are going to be in that really cool. I just want to see the space, you know, yes. it's really cool. That's so yeah, cool. we, we're, we're really grateful for ARC Studios in general because they are sponsoring our event as well. So we know that so many of our community, they're going to want to tap into this, this space. And we actually have, because we held the CEO Summit last year, Commonwealth, um, we have a huge connection in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. So even being able to kind of like locally offer this space to beauty pros, barber pros, coaches, podcast hosts who want to kind of elevate their backdrops and that, that webinar kind of experience, you know, mm -hmm. that's really cool. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So, uh, so, so tell us about like, what is the CEO, uh, invitational leadership summit? Oh, did I get it? I think I got it. Yes. What, what, so, so tell us about it. Like, like as a, as a, as a attendee, what are you guys offering? What are the offerings? So our biggest thing, I mean, Kelly and I both have always had this um, like really elevated perspective of how we see the industry and how we want to show up in the industry. So I know for myself, when I launched IBP, my biggest struggle was connection peer to peer, finding relationships with other hairstylists, with other barbers, with other makeup artists, and not necessarily having to attend an event to make those connections. I feel like there's just such a lack of networking spaces in our industry. And so obviously that was my focus with IBP, which has now rebranded to Commonwealth Collective. So I've always had this I don't want to use the word corporate because that feels so stuffy, but I really have always had this kind of corporate mentality around how do we look at other industries, things that they do successfully and bring that into our industry. So I look at lawyers and realtors and their, the networks that they build amongst each other and how they tap into each other all of the time to collaborate and cross promote and refer. And so for us, that's always been our focus. And so that's my contribution to this event is bringing that kind of corporate for lack of better words system into like how do we tackle relationship building but at the same time how do we make it super fun our industry is creative we're visual we want to have beautiful backdrops we want to see different scenes like that's very important to us as as pros and so that piece with kelly I and mean, kelly will share on her elevation in the industry but her and i are very aligned in that and so i think that that 1% is kind of what we're targeting. The people who really see space for our industry to exponentially grow now. We're ready to kind of shift the industry and make changes. And that starts individually, one person at a time. So I'm gonna let Kelly share on her end, but that's my perspective. 
Yeah. And I love that Lindsay just shared that about how she kind of looks at other industries because the same has happened with me running a team-based salon. So I definitely have catered a lot of my programs to team-based commission salon owners. And yet I find some of my best ideas come outside of the industry. So I've looked at other industries as well. Um, and then, you know, for me, I've had to really learn how to take those ideas and tailor them to really like the neighborhood salon. So I've had the experience of going through a lot of education. I've partnered um, for years alongside Nick Arroyo. I had the ability to learn from him um, and his mentors uh, through a contest that I had won. And it was really game changing. But what I found a lot of times in those business classes is that they were for these really big corporate based salons. And so it was really important for me to learn how to take those concepts and those ideas and dial them down to someone who just wants a neighborhood salon that is successful, but also brings them happiness. And so that was something that when Lindsay and I were talking, you know, she really taps into that relationship building. Building, I really tap into that 12 step business plan on how to execute these systems that put your business on autopilot so that you can live that life that you dream and desire. Um, and so when we really started talking about our two visions, our model was the same. We, we wanted the same business model. We were just bringing two different things to the table. And so when we realized putting our two heads together created this amazing event for beauty professionals, we, we were full speed ahead from that point on. You get that too. When both of you speak, it's like you're speaking to it, the industry as a whole from all different sides. I mean, it really does. You feel that when you guys are explaining it for sure. Thank you. I think that was our, for both of us, our, our areas of focus. So like Kelly said, she has a 12 step, like very tactile, like action steps. This is what you do. This is taking where you're starting at today and where you want to be, like putting that into place. And our entire focus is around who do you know? Who's in your network? Who can you tap into? Like none of us can do it all. And for us, again, Kelly has brought this from the very like large scale team based salons into a neighborhood salon format. Our community started out as independent beauty pros. So our network is really, really concentrated of solopreneurs. So they especially cannot take on every task. So our focus has always been around build relationships to outsource, find collaboration opportunities, tap into the other people that can support you. And so that's, I think when the two of us really started outlining like the financial pieces that Kelly brings, the relationship pieces that I bring, those are two of our pillars in the CEO Invitational Leadership Summit. The other two are around leadership and mindset, which we both also feel is so important and relevant to us in our businesses. It's amazing that like, that, that, you know, just, just through those four pillars that you shared that, that you're finding like common ground for that, you know, meaning like, meaning like mm -hmm. to bring that all together because it doesn't, you know, from the outside or from, it just, it doesn't feel like they, they mold, you know, or they, they mend together. So it's, it's a really cool it's just a cool, even a, a cool thought process, but then to kind of watch it like come to, a, to come to life. That, that's yeah. pretty yeah. cool. So who, and who, uh, go ahead, Kel. Oh, no, I was going to say, and one thing that was really important to Lindsay and I too, um, that we've discussed together is that, you know, there are a lot of programs out there for business owners and things like that. And like, one of the things that we feel like really sets us apart is while there is kind of this 12 step process and the relationship building, Lindsay and I don't approach this from this mentality that like you have to do this like a checklist or else you won't be successful. We believe that if you just take 5% of what we give you, just 5%, that you're growing 5%. So we're not going into this thinking, you know, cause I don't want anyone to listen and be overwhelmed by like a 12 step process or something like that. It's like, we want to give you all of the tools that we've learned. Lindsay and I both believe in everything that we've absorbed, we share. And so we just want to give you even 5% worth of growth. Um, when you leave this event. That was also, oh, so sorry. I just wanted to expand on that because we both have this approach to like, we are not the voice of authority. So that is like, we, we outsource all the time to experts that we trust that we've either used or we're in community with. So it's not always just coming from me in our community. And it's not always coming from just Kelly and hers. We're, we're really tapped into the idea of bringing on our four headlining keynote speakers, including the three of you and, and using your voice, your experience, your expertise and shining that spotlight, kind of just like what you said, Corey, that you provided within Presley Poe Friends to all of the speakers like myself. Yeah. And, and back to what Kelly, like that you, you know, even if you give them 12, the 12 steps and, and, and they take, they absorb it all and they only grow 5%. I, 
I mean, it, even if your goal is to walk 10 miles, you got to walk the first mile, right? So, and then you get to the second mile. So, you you know, you might grow 5%, then you're going to grow another 5%, then another 5%. And eventually you're going to get to 100%. And uh, and then you're, you know, of course, you're, each 5% is going to change your life. I kind of, oh, so uh, you talked about like uh, like like the keynotes and the people that are going to be there. Aside from these three fabulous people, who else who else is on the docket that weekend? I'll share first our, our first speaker that Kelly and I aligned so quickly on. It was our first absolute yes when we were outlining who do we know, who do we want to lean into. Our first was Nina Tulio. Um, she's someone in the industry that we both personally are so appreciative of and have connected with individually. But she also, like Kelly said, we don't believe in gatekeeping. We are not going to tell you just a, a tidbit of what we know and not give you the like three or four other big factors that are important in that topic. And I think Nina Nina, from our perspectives, she that's exactly her format too. She's going to give you everything she has done, everything she's implemented. She's not going to keep any of it for herself. And that was really important to us as we structured these speakers. Who is going to come fully authentically, full transparency, full honesty? There's not going to be that kind of secrecy of like, I don't want to tell you the, the one big secret that is really important to this topic. I'm just going to give you the other seven, you know? And so that was something for Kelly and I, she was just our first, like, who wants to reach out to her? We were both so excited to, to invite her. Well, we yeah. love Nina. I mean, that's our, yeah. that's our girl there. Dog. You know, like, <laughs> when, when, when I saw her on the, on the docket with us, I was like, that's pretty dope, man. Cause <laughs> she's our homie. Yeah. We love Nina and she's such a friend to us. I mean, I think that's it. I think if, if the hair industry had a miscongeniality, it would be Nina. Our second presenter, I had the opportunity to connect with when I was speaking at the Erojo Expo um, in October and she and I uh, became instant friends, which is funny. We really are a little bit of a yin and a yang. Uh, you know, we couldn't be so different in so many areas, but yet so alike. And that is Sarai Spear, the platinum giraffe. And piggybacking off of what Lindsay's saying, just like full transparency, full honesty, that is Sarai. And she has the most incredible story of how she's overcome um, addiction and eating disorders. And she puts that you know, in her social media. So it's no secret about that. But when you hear her share her story, it is so powerful. So she is going to be bringing in some mindset and how to navigate this industry when, you know, all of us are carrying things of that capacity in some way, shape or form. And she really has mastered the art of like being transparent, being honest, sharing that and still overcoming to be the powerhouse that she is. So we are so excited for her to bring her energy to the, to the summit. Yeah, oh, for sure. She, awesome. Yeah, she's another one that we love. So uh, mm -hmm. it, it's very, it's very, it's very cool. Like I get excited, like being like, oh man, like our name is aside these people. <laughs> that's cool. Who else is going to be there? I mean, it's, you know, again, aside from us. So our final keynote speaker is going to be Nick Orojo and Lindsay and I both had a jaw dropping moment when um, Nick agreed to speak. We had actually approached the Orojo brand. Um, I have a really strong relationship with them and a history since 2012. Um, and I've worked with Nick very closely and we approached Orojo just for their support in the event. And it was at the end of that conversation that um, Valeria, who is his um, person, you know, kind of spoke up and said, well, what do you think about Nick speaking? And Lindsay and I both just were like, what? Like, keep, it cool, keep it cool, keep it cool. And um, Nick, I mean, when Nick shows up, he inspires. He doesn't even have to think. He can just sit and talk and you are just mesmerized by what it is that he has to say. And I've had the opportunity to learn from him in such large capacities. And every single time I walk away feeling like this is the most humble man who has such a heart for this industry and like really, really inspires. So he's going to be coming on. He's going to share about leadership and what it took to become a Rojo, the brand, as well as brand partnerships that he's worked with in the past and how they've benefited him, um, which really ties in nicely to Lindsay and Commonwealth and relationship building and how those relationships can really you know, help take your business to the next level. So we are so proud <laughs> to have Nick Arojo among all of our amazing presenters. Yeah, I mean, he's a superstar. He is. I've seen him speak twice and it, like, again, with the energy and the, I don't <laughs> think a smile leaves his face. Like he's just so grateful and so happy and mm -hmm. all the time. And it's like, he is so fortunate, but I mean, he's worked so hard and you know, it does, it just like, exudes from him it's, it's really cool you he's know yeah 
So say he's a dear friend of mine. And I can honestly say like, I would not be sitting here today if it weren't for Nick Arojo. So for this full circle mm-hmm. moment to happen is just really, um, really impactful and special. I, we totally get that. Like that, that's, that, that's the space we live in, you know, for things coming full circle. You know, it's interesting that I just realized about all, all, all of the, all of your keynotes is that they've all been through it and they've mm-hmm. all, and they've all, aside from us, I don't know if we were included, but, but they've all been through it and they all want to share it. Right. Cause I remember like, like Nick was so like uh, vocal about during, during um, the salons that he lost um, during, during the pandemic that, um, that it, it's really, I don't know. That's that seems to be the commonplace between between certainly between Nina, um, uh, Sarai and, and Nick that they've all been through it, but they're also sharing it and they're saying, "Hey, there's there's life on the other side of this, right?" Mm-hmm. Like that's what that's their commonality there with, with all three of them. That that's incredible, man. That's that's yeah. Bravo, great job. Thank you. I mean, that's also Kelly and I have been through it. Like that's <laughs> that's the thing. Like when we were kind of looking at these these names, we wanted to make sure that they're people that that have experiences, life experience that they're, that they're talking about already authentically when it comes to entrepreneurship in the beauty barber industry. And you three, I would also very much include you are you're in it. You're here. You're hosting events. You're hosting the pot like you're in it and you're sharing on it. And there's there's so much joy that comes for all of us in this space, in this industry. But there's also it can be challenging. There are challenges to pivot through and navigate through and and learn and understand. And I think that's the biggest piece that I love about this outline. We also have breakout rooms that I'm going to share on in a second, but this whole outline is structured around like, if you, if you're feeling isolated in any capacity around leadership mindset, money or relationship building, I mean, who hasn't felt that way? Who hasn't felt isolated around those major topics? It's, it's commonplace in the entrepreneurship journey. So that piece of it, I think, is really what kind of started the conversations around who we're going to ask. And then it just sort of, I mean, I think when you, you know, like attracts like. So as we started putting it out there, the the response we had was just almost overwhelming, especially from someone like Nick Arojo, who I watched on TV with my mom. So I feel like, again, that piece of being like, we're onto something here. We are, this is needed and necessary. So our last piece that I wanted to throw in here too, we're also on Monday hosting two breakout rooms. Kelly and I will be co-facilitating in each, um, but we're gonna be talking about branding and inclusivity with Jody Brown and Crystal L, two of our good friends, both of which we use in full capacity within our communities. And then also around money and finances with Brett Fellows and Misty Jane. So Kelly will be facilitating in that room and I will be facilitating around branding and inclusivity. So that piece too, we're getting a little bit more intimate in a breakout setting, right? There's less people. So you're gonna be able to kind of get your questions answered a little bit more personalized, um, tap into the chat, connect with the people that are on that, that topic as well. So the people in that room, are there for a reason. They want to tap into that information. And if you're in that space too, that's a network. That's a whole group of people that you can leverage and connect with and serve and create power partner relationships. That's amazing. I love that. Yeah, for real. I'm, I'm a big fan of the breakout rooms too, you know, just to, place yeah. to, you know, to, 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 to use Elizabeth's, you know, a uh, uh, phrase about being seen and heard and all that kind of stuff. It's like, it's where you, where you can really like connect with, with, with the room and with what's, what's, you know, troubling you or, or where, where you need help, you know? So where can people find tickets and all that good stuff? We can link it for sure. So we have we have a whole landing page that has all of our who, what, where, when, why, and how. Um, and I think again, being able to kind of understand that if you are at all looking to grow, this is for you. If you are in any capacity whatsoever thinking that you want growth this year, this event is going to have opportunity. But I think the biggest things that we want people to take away from this is the community, the networking piece, the relationship piece of look at all of our friends. These are our friends that, you know, three, four, five years ago, I couldn't have said, I couldn't have said that. But by building these relationships, even Kelly and I, our relationship started very casual. There was no agenda. There was no outcome for either one of us, but slowly we started to see there was so much opportunity to support each other in bigger capacities. And this is how it starts. It starts with one event, one conversation, one introduction. 
And the key here, just to remember, you know, at whatever capacity you are in business, whether you're a solopreneur, whether you're working at a rental salon or you're um, in a team-based salon as a salon owner, like you don't have to do it alone. You are not in this alone. Like we are here to support you. Lindsay and I have put this together for that very reason to say, as Lindsay says, and I love it so much, you can sit with us. You know, this whole event is um, a byproduct of the relationships that Lindsay and I have had the privilege of forming and creating in this industry and the knowledge that we've had the ability to absorb and we're sharing it. This is for you to know like you are not alone in this. And I know it can feel that way talking of every single presenter and the story of overcoming and you feel so alone in those moments, but we're, we're putting this together for you to know that that's not the case. What a cool time to be in the industry. You know, mm -hmm. I know 30 years ago when we got in the industry, like it just, it, it, it wasn't it, you know, like you were, you were by yourself, even if you worked in a salon with 30 or 40 people, you know, you still felt like you were very much mm -hmm. by yourself in this industry. All right. So, so again, where, uh, what's the website, where can people find it? Yeah. So Lindsay and I both have this, um, on Instagram, she's at Commonwealth Co and I am, um, scissors make sense. And then all of our speakers and partners, we have shared that information with. So the link is there. We can put it in the show notes here. Um, we do have a few other people in the industry that are our close network that will be sharing it as well. So it should be all over Instagram. You can click in the bio um, and we do have some early bird codes um, as well. That's awesome. Yeah. Yeah, we've really, we've tapped into the people that are participating as well. So being able to kind of use our speakers to also share, this is as important to our speakers as it is to us, which really means the world. So even for example, the three of you having us on the podcast to talk about this means so much, but it also reflects the importance that you see in having this content, this kind of education, this structure available and accessible. And this is a virtual event that is ridiculously affordable. Two day event, four keynote speakers, breakout rooms. We didn't even talk about our VIP stuff, but we, I know Corey, you've been on our virtual power hour events that are our, our Commonwealth collective community favorites. Um, but these are like speed dating. They're the only event I've ever attended in the industry that are structured this way, where every single person has a space to speak. They get to talk about who they are, what they're working on, who they need to connect with, and how we can support them. There's nothing else I've ever attended where, as beauty barber pros, we get to come in and just share that. And in this power hour, we're going to have Nick Arojo, like on this event. That's insane to me. So you would actually get to be speaking about what your needs are to Nick Arojo. Think of his network. Think of the people he knows. Um, again, that to me, that that space is just so needed in our in our industry. So we're really honored to be able to extend a virtual power hour in this virtual event as well. So that's one of our VIP upgrades. Mm -hmm. You know, I also want to add too, like, you know, when you get the opportunity to to be in rooms with like Nick or be in the rooms with people is that it's really important to um, to take advantage of those rooms. Mm -hmm. You know, When you're in those rooms, it's not the time to be shy or to be or to go hide in a corner because you may never be in like that um, again. Yep. But so, dude, we are so, so, uh, once again, grateful and excited to be a part of this weekend. Um, we uh, absolutely love what you guys are up to and what you're doing. And, and you know, a million thank yous for, 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 having, us, uh, for having us be there. Kay, Kay, do you have anything to add before we jump? I don't think so. I, um, I'm excited. I think it's going to be great. And I think the format is cool. Like, it, like, to your point, Lindsay, like, there's not much stuff even being virtual you know, that's set up this way. So it's going to be interesting, you know, to experience it on our end too. I'm going to get my questions all written down and ready. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. We're going to be hanging out. And also y'all, thank you so much for, uh, for having Katie sit along with us because that's a, uh, that's a, uh, that, that's pretty cool. I think this is our first like event that we've done as a, as a trio, right, Katie? Yeah. I mean, besides Presley Poe and friends, um, yeah. yeah, but we're just facilitating there. I mean, that's like that's true. Well, it's still though. <laughs> Well, that's kind of like Katie said. I mean, when we we were able to kind of connect, I mean, we we met last year briefly, but we were able to connect in the the planning and structuring of Presley Poe and Friends in a more intimate way this time since I had the privilege of speaking. But I feel like as soon as we were together in in Maryland, I was like, Katie, I, oh my gosh, like like that instant connection. So, of course, we want we want Katie in this capacity just as much as the two of you want her with you. I think that that piece of like you said, the the neck that turns the head, you know, that is 
is a huge component of success in entrepreneurship. You need support and Katie is the support for the two of you in that capacity. So we want to be able to kind of shout, shout that out too and say like, look at how by outsourcing, by hiring, by expanding, by growing, you're actually able to, to reach so many more. So we're happy to have, have all three of you together. Absolutely. Well, we're so excited. So one more time, we'll put, we'll put it in the show notes and we'll also, um, we'll put it in our link tree on our, on our page. Um, uh, all the, all the stuff, but uh, all the, um, what am I looking for the, you know, to be able to connect with them. Um, but, uh, but yeah, so that's happening right, uh, right in June, right? June 11th, June 12th. So, uh, so you don't have a lot of time to get your tickets, but it's super affordable. And thank you guys for putting this together. Thank you for inviting us. And thank you guys just for, for, for doing these things. We appreciate you. And, uh, yeah. most importantly, thank you very, very much for joining us on your day off. Thanks for listening. If you enjoyed this episode and you'd like to help support the podcast, share it with friends, give us a rating and drop a review to listen to all the latest podcasts. Please subscribe from your favorite podcast outlet and to stay connected on and off the show. You can follow us at hair Distry on Instagram and all other social media platforms. Thanks again. And we'll see you next time. Peace and love.